So we do this is a Mastron Tech Portal and in this video I am going to do a quickly benchmarking test of the Samsung Galaxy J7 with the Optimax 4.0 First let me show you that I am currently running Optimax 4.0 So here you can see that Optimax 4.0 mm and I have the F variant So let's see how much we will get the performance First let me activate my performance mode So here we are in the performance mode you can follow the other videos of Optimix camera of how to install and the speed test all the links are in the description so I am starting with the into 2 benchmarks So here you can see that after completing the benchmarking of N22 we are only getting around 41,661 score so after activating the performance mode so let's try with the quadrant benchmark And due to scores very good score as compared to the previous stock versions I am currently running Marshmallow stock and I am soon going to install the S5 Neo ROM with the Optimax 4.0 kernel supported and I will do a benchmark test if possible So here in quadrant benchmark it scores around 11,669 It's a quite decent score So now we are gonna test Geekbench 3 The last benchmarking app test If you really want to get performance you can use Trickster mode or any other overclocking application from Play Store to overclock your device and I really prefer you to do that if you really a gamer or a heavy usage because uh, Optimax kernel is optimized by XG developing such a way that you will get a really a good battery backup even on the performance one it means all the 8 cores will run on 1.5 gigahertz always but it will not drain battery as much and you will get a battery backup or a of maybe of more than one day because I am using this kernel for around 2-3 to three weeks and I am not getting any battery type issue and if you are getting you can share your thoughts in the comment section and also you can share which types of videos related to G7 or any other phone or any other trip and tricks I will try to reply on each and every comment and I will try to make videos and it will really help me to make future videos my better
so here the test is almost completed now it is uploading results so here again we get around the best score of the Samsung Galaxy J7 with the Optimax 4.0 kernel and we get really a good results in N22 benchmark around more than 41,000 it is really the best score I have ever seen on Samsung Galaxy G7 2015 variant and if you can see that the 2016 variant scoring around 43 to 44,000 in N22 and I'm not sure about this Quadrant benchmark app but in Geekbench we get a multi-core score of around 4100 which is uh, sorry 4000 or approx and which is near about the Samsung Galaxy S6 which is scoring around 4100 in multi-score so you can see that the Exynos variant of the Samsung Galaxy G7 is very much better as compared to the Samsung Galaxy S6 Exynos variant so you can also share your thoughts uh, how much N22 or Quadrant or Geekbench scores you are getting and you can share your thoughts in the comment section and I, if you have any queries you can also share that I will try to reply each and every comment and if you have any videos related to my channel you can also share it so that's all with this small video I really hope you enjoyed this and if you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and for more videos like this you can follow me on my youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button or you can follow me on instagram and facebook page for further updates so as always I see you in the next video thank you